Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be working with the DMU Kinematics Workbench as well as uh, the Generative Shape Design Workbench. So we have uh, created the chain, uh, the chain link over here and now we need to create two guide curves so that you can do a uh, few joints and you can do the simulation. So right here we have this particular uh, chain being created so I'll go to the product I'll go to insert and so the new part under the product, same product. So right here I'm going to do the sketching of a simple guide curve. So firstly for creating the guide curve I'll create a line like this is going to pass through both the centers of this particular circles and after that I'm going to create one circle which is quite big and after that I'll create a sketch downwards like this and uh, I'll select this line and I'll do the mirroring for this and then I'll insert another circle which is going to be tangent and then I'm going to trim out the unwanted lines so if you feel like it's quite big over here you can still reduce the size of this particular circle have to make sure that these are points up. So let's uh, you know come out of the sketch right here. So you have this particular first guide curve being created, and now I'm going to go to the generative shape design workbench. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert operations, and I'm going to select the extract button and I'll select the complete sketch and I'll click on OK and I have an extract being created under this particular geometrical set so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the join and I need the complete extract under one join so we have the first uh, you know this guide curve. Why I have extracted and joined it is because I want this particular entity to be uh, a complete entity so that I can give the offset for the next. So I'll go to this particular plane here and uh, I'm going to do an offset for this and uh, whatever entity that you're going to create with the offset is going to work for your uh, uh, slide curve joint. set of 12 it's 12 because this distance I need this distance so it is 12 now I'll come out of the sketch so again you have another sketch here so again you can go to insert operations extract and you can select the complete so you have another extract here so uh, you have created two guide curves and uh, that follows all the rules which is uh, required for the creation of point curve and slide curve join which will lead to the simulation of this chain link cage. So I hope you enjoyed. Keep watching. Thank you so much.